Now here we are at um, the Kids Bay Boys Club, and I just finished coming over here in a very interesting way. I'll, I'll speak about that in the future. But uh, when it comes down to it, everybody goes through ups and downs, trials and tribulations and challenges. And I would never, ever, ever say that my problems, challenges, whatever situation is worse than yours because it's all relative. In other words, whatever you've had that's the worst in your life is equivalent to somebody else's worst, except that it might be where they had their best friend die in front of them and you could have been that you broke that damn nail after you got it done that week. <sighs> or somebody cut you off. Or somebody had bad breath, or whatever the case may be. But what we must realize is that everyone has their challenges and they don't know how to express it. Communication sometimes means this. My mother used to do this. I would come home late, and I know most of you guys would get your butt whooped. My mother didn't do that. What she did was the opposite. She didn't even let me know that she was looking out the window. Then once I got home, she, she acknowledged it. But she didn't really go crazy on me. That's what I mean by that is when I went to karate tournaments as, you know, as a young boy and I came back late. Only because she knew where I was at. Now, this is before the days of beepers and even phone calls. So, you know, so I always thought that my mother never really cared much about me, which is kind of stupid. But what it was was that she trusted me to, to make the right decisions. Because as a young man, I was pretty cool when it came to um, you know, not getting in trouble. However, when I got older... It created a problem because now in a relationship, when someone turned around and reached out to me and wanted me to call them and so on and so forth, in other words, keep constant contact, I was like, come on, what are you doing? Well, you don't trust me? What the hell? So it created a problem in terms of, and they thought that they were caring for me too much. I was like, they were on my freaking case. Get off my damn back. Again, which one is right? It depends on how your mindset is, right? So when it comes down to it, nobody wants to be upset. At all, but there's triggers, there's anchors, there's things that you can actually do in terms of bringing yourself in the proper state of mind, or get deep in the depression. Damn it, I know how to do that. I've been there. I've slept for for a bunch of days, you know, just avoiding life. And when I do that, or when I've done that in the past, it made things better. Yeah, right. It made things freaking worse. So with good intentions, sometimes we make mistakes and do things that are even worse. When it comes down to it, we have to set up ourselves for success. You ever notice that the people that we care the most about hurt us the most because we care. Somebody else does the same exact thing to you, says the same thing to you that you don't know them, what the hell, you don't care, whatever. But we start making presuppositions that how dare you, you know how much I love you, that's so hurtful and so on and so forth. And that's not what they mean. What they mean is that they're going through some stuff themselves and they don't know how to express it. And they'll say some things that uh, might have some history behind it. But I know one thing. If someone looks at me a certain way, I get, you know, most of us, you know, that either they say your name or your middle name or your complete name, you know, trying to be cute. And you're like, you're not my mother, you know, because when, when a person looked at me in a certain way, you're not my mother, you know, that look that your mother gave you when she wasn't too happy. So, so again, what it comes down to, all we want to do is be happy, guys. So if you want to be happy, set yourself up for success by coming, getting things, I mean, we have a phone, right? With the phone, what I did today as an example, today I listened to probably about an hour and a half of comedy, little snippets, and I sent a whole bunch of you guys these things. Why? Because I realized that this weekend, even though it was a great weekend, um, and I went to these events at the Mohegan Sun, the Bellator fights, the challenge was that I didn't get a chance to sleep too much. And even going to the event was a little stressful because I wasn't the one driving, and there was two different people that were driving on two different days, so I never got there at the times that I wanted to. My point was that I wasn't in control of the situation, but... Um, but it was a great, it ended up being great. However, then the last two days, I slept three hours one day, four hours the other day, and I knew that if I did not rest, I was going to get sick. So today, I made sure that I kept myself in bed a lot longer. And then when I got up, I overslept, so now I'm dragging. I'm not too happy, not too jipper to go teach karate class. Oh, that would have been a bad situation, especially since I didn't have some finances to do some basic things. However, what did I do? I listened to a bunch of comedy, and um, and I laughed. And that was my pattern interrupt. So again, if you've never told me, studied neurolinguistic programming or neuro association conditioning, or if you never came to a Fontenay's Martial Arts Success Center, damn it, learn how to give yourself a wedgie <laughs> or whatever it is to make yourself laugh to get yourself out of the state of mind. Now, um, the reason I'm telling you guys is this, so I can remember for the next time. And that's what I did today. Different strokes for different folks. I'm out of here. A, B, see ya.